Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Dead Cells. We are here playing the brand new update, The Queen and the Sea DLC 3. I've been wanting to come back to this game for quite a while and I've kind of been waiting to give myself a reason. It's been about a year since I played this on my channel, somewhere around that. And it's a game that I love, I've got about 35 hours or so into it. And with the drop of The Queen and the Sea DLC and the fact that I hadn't played the last one, which was I think Fatal Seeds, um, I thought what a great time to get back into it. What a great time to start a new little series on it. And we'll see how it does. If you guys really like this, then I'll definitely carry it on further. But I thought because we're starting a new series and because I haven't played this game in about a year, we're going to start a brand new save file. It means it'll take us a little while to get to some of the newer content from the DLCs. But I think that that's kind of a good thing. But for those of you that haven't seen Dead Cells before, it's a brilliant roguelike sort of Castlevania-esque game. And it's just, I, I love it. It's really, really good. Um, fantastic loot, fantastic gameplay, fantastic combat, very skill-based. But anyways, let's get into this. Aren't you the headless fellow that's been getting around? Indeed I am. Thumbs up. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Ah, yes, that's right. No tongue. Anyways, it would be strange to be back from the dead. I mean, surely you've noticed. You can no longer die. <clears throat> I don't really understand it. But you're not the first to find yourself in this situation, if that's what you want to know. <laughs> I love the animations. But anyways, we jump into our first run. We can uh, take a shield if we want, or a, a bow, but I think a bow is going to be best. Playing on controller here, because it is the recommended. Um, we can drop down like this, get behind this guy, slap the hell out of him. And those little blue orbs there are cells, which is part of the name Dead Cells, where that comes from. Do you know what? Let's turn the audio down just to... Add. There you go. Um, we'll actually uh, turn the music down one notch as well. Uh, no, we'll go two notches. There you go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, we, we essentially um, grab these cells that allow us to upgrade and unlock new gear. They're basically like the hegemony credits of this game. There's some food there, get some nice bit, bits of cheese. And yeah, we're going to sort of discover this game as we go through. As I said, I have about 35 hours on this game, so I'm reasonably well-versed at it. I now have to play it pretty well. I have beaten it multiple times, um, but I've not beaten any of the boss cells, which are essentially the end game later difficulties after your first victory. And he is kind of one of the main mechanics of this game. Um, this is actually another thing that has changed hugely since the last time I played. Um, before, you take these upgrades and you can choose red, uh, purple, or green. And as you can see, our uh, bow is purple <clears throat> and our melee weapon is red. And that basically amounts to how much damage you get with those objects. And also you get different amounts of HP bonus. The amount of HP you get with each following scroll lowers. Um, but you really don't want to split focus between three different scrolls. You want to be going for all one color. But before, they made it so that the... Um, the enemies got more difficult as you uh, gained more scrolls, but they changed that. Now it's just enemies get more, diff get more difficult the later into the game you get. Um, so that apparently is a really, really good change. And here we can see our first bit of like Castlevania-esque progression. We have uh, Interactable here that we currently cannot use because we haven't actually unlocked, same as here as well, we haven't actually unlocked the, uh, the ability that allows us to go that way. And as I said, as we... Um, get later into the game, we will find and unlock these pieces in order to, um, in order to be able to unlock these different areas, go to different places, and that's kind of a big part of where the DLCs in this game come into play. Ooh, we got a nice little, uh, ice bomb here. Now with, uh, R2, we can ice bomb. Basically, each DLC adds new weapons, it adds new enemies, but more importantly, it adds new biomes, and here's our first blueprint as well. We've got a little secret area here as well. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get different blueprints and biomes and all, the, all these sort of things, which essentially means that in the late game, you can take many, many different paths to victory, fight many different bosses on your way to the end. And it, it really creates a very diverse style of play. But as you'll see with our second scroll here, now instead of getting 65% bonus HP, we get just 38%. Um, but we're going to be taking that anyways because that's another 15% damage. The amount of damage total that you gain from one of those never changes. This here is another one of the um, progression things that we've yet to unlock. Do a slam down on that guy. 
Um, what we're trying to do at the minute is find the exit to this area, which will be somewhere soon. It's uh, Again, it's a roguelike, so it's randomized. We've got the twin daggers, a new weapon. Inflicts critical on the third strike, and it shoots an arrow forward. So, as you can see, this weapon has twin daggers 2. As you get into 2s, 3s, 4s, they get different abilities on top of their base ability. Each weapon, each thing, has a base ability. But then past that, they also have the... Um, have the additional modifiers but one thing we're going to try and do here before we leave as you can see uh, next to ourselves and near our mini map at the bottom right you can see we're on 27 kills if we can i should probably use the teleporters actually there's teleporters everywhere that you can use to uh, get around this game and i very rarely use them when i really should um i don't actually see where we could go here i'll be honest um Oh, here, okay. Um, yeah, next to that, you can see it says 27. That's how many kills we've gotten. Ah, okay. So, unfortunately, I think we've exhausted this entire floor now. I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. Um, looks like we've um, made our way through every option. So, unfortunately, we probably won't get what we wanted there. Um, we won't open that up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen everything we can. The floors do get a little bigger as you uh, unlock things in the later game. Um, we can just... Take a bit of gray air there. But yeah, uh, if we'd have managed to get to 30 kills, you can um, utilize that to enter the next stage and get ad additional power-ups, like better weaponry, amulets, better uh, abilities. Or on top of that, you can instead... Um, well, not instead. You can also give yourself some extra cells. I believe it's 20. So we are going to miss out on that, unfortunately. But... We're at least making it through the first stage relatively unharmed. And you get another bonus if you make it to this floor in under two minutes as well. So as you can see, two minutes and 30, door ti 30 kill timer. We very nearly got both of them. And he this here is where we will go to the collector to unlock all of our new skills. I'm the collector, but the closest thing you find is a decent company around here. Bring me cells you gather from the others in exchange, and I'll produce a few useful items for you. Should you some on a blueprint? Uh, bring it to me and um, I'll do some experimental items. Basically, the way this guy kind of works is if we die before we make it to a next area, any blueprints or cells we found in that time will be gone. So we need to make sure that we're getting those to this guy. So our first upgrade is the health flask. For five cells, we can unlock the health flask. The next one we'll probably go for is gold reserves. Essentially, that means that when we die, we um, preserve some of our gold. But we won't get to fill that out until the next stage. And then this is our first sort of perks guy. This guy is uh, it allows us to get different skills and stuff that help us out. So there's some interesting ones here like this. You can just take this here. Um, you can save yourself from one death. Or you can go with some more helpful ones like recovering uh, HP after kill to a maximum of 50% which is also pretty nice. Or we can go with straight up damage. I'm going to go with the extra life in this early stage. I think it's going to be a pretty good one for us to grab. And then if we'd used our potion here, we could fill it up right here. But anyways, enough of the sort of introduction. I think many of you already know how Dead Cells works. Many of you have seen me play it before or have seen others play it before or even played it yourself. So we're just going to kind of jump in and try and make as much progression as we can here. Don't know if I can get up there. I don't think I can. Um, but we're probably not going to see tons of the new content that early on. Um, just because with the new content, it's... Um, I don't know what will freeze you. With the new content, it's uh, locked behind certain progression gates. So we've got a... I did get hit there, unfortunately. So we can dodge. I'm trying to dodge. I'm not very good at it. Okay, this thing, this this dual daggers thing's really good, but it does not have a lot of range. Oh my god. I've been hit so much already. <laughs> this game has some unique healing mechanics as well. We actually got the sandals here as well. <clears throat> it has some unique healing mechanics. Ooh, nice. And as you can see, actually, we got a star upgrade, which is essentially a special upgrade. We'll definitely take that, because now we've got a, a nice defensive option. Uh, star upgrades are essentially rarer ones that, that deal more damage. Ooh, we can even take the Nutcracker here. Um, inflicts criticals of the enemies frozen or rooted. I think that's going to be pretty good considering we have a lot of freeze in our repertoire right now. Um, so we do need to be uh, conscious of our, um, of our 
usage of our flask, our health flask. We don't want to overuse it. We only have one use right now, but we can upgrade that. Of course, the Nutcracker, as you can see here, is a very hefty weapon. Um, okay, so we can't use this at the minute. So it does mean that we'll uh, be firing quite a lot slower than we were prior, especially with the twin daggers. They were very, very quick. But we just need to keep that in mind as we progress forward here. So as you can see, there's things like this here where we can try and grab keys to come back to areas later on to get things. Right now, we can't currently get that. Um, but hopefully, at some point, we can. The first few runs are probably going to be a little slow. We can go into this well. We found a secret zone. So full of water, it looks like it's going to burst at any moment. We are apparently just kicking the corpse. That's all we're doing. Oh, nice. There you go. So we got a bit of extra money out of that. We can use those in the shops later. And we got ourselves a multi-notch bow. I don't actually think we want that right now. Later on, we'll get the ability to recycle items we don't want for money. Um, but for now, we just have to unfortunately leave them be. So at the minute, we've got kind of an interesting synergy. So as you can see here, we don't have this unlocked yet. But we can go through into this door here. And this looks to be a boss room. So get ready for that. Ah, this is where we unlock this. So this will be a champion fight that we have to do. So we're going to crit him when we uh, do that. Oh my god, we, we annihilated him. <laughs> and then we can grant this artifact. And now this grants us the ability to use the uh, the green things that we've been seeing around the world a little bit. The vine rune. This is a permanent upgrade that lasts throughout all of our runs, as you can see now. Whenever we see one of those, we can create a climbable vine. Which means that in our next run, we can go to that um, area in the first stage. And we'll unlock a few of these as we progress through the game. The longer we live in this run, the better it's going to be. Um, I, I'm not going to say anything about this run. I, I doubt we're going to live too long. Um, just because I don't remember the game very well. I did do a little bit of practice um, on this game prior to starting this series. Uh, I need to be careful here. Okay, that was a mistake and a half. Oh my god. There you go. Okay, I gotta be a little more on point with my um Gotta be a little more on point here with my attacks. But as you can see, we've now got two of the blue ones, but now we need green. So we're gonna take green, which is gonna be a nice maximum health increase. And we're kinda of switching over. We had three on uh, brutality, but now we're going for uh green. Oh god, that enemy can hit me through um so this is going to be our first... Oh, God. No, 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 no. There's enemy teleports. I forgot about that. This is going to be our first heal. Desperately needed that. I forgot that enemy teleported. A lot of the enemies here, I'm uh, still kind of relearning. But yeah, I, I, uh, over the Christmas holidays, one of the things that actually kind of got me interested in... Um, in making a new series on this game after this DLC. I found out about the DLC because I started playing the mobile version. I wasn't aware it was on mobile, or at least I wasn't aware of it until recently, um, and so I need to be using my grenade a little more, don't I? Okay. Oh, this is going to be hard. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my lord. That was tough. But we got it. Essentially, stun-locking enemies is our best way of doing it. But yeah, I played it on mobile a little bit over the holidays while I was home because I was bored. Um, and uh, that kind of got me interested again. And then I saw the DLC was coming out on the 6th. So, that got me intrigued. That really got me interested. And I thought, hey, be a great game to play again. Got you. Okay, we've got another upgrade there. Nice. Good, good. Grab that. Go for that again. Okay, so we can go up and around for this guy. We'll probably kill this guy before he becomes invincible. Damn it. You can see the invincibility doesn't last forever. 
so we can kill this guy just before. Damn it, just missed with that. It's basically all about learning how to play defensively. Playing aggressively is really strong in this game, but learning how to not get hit by every enemy, much like any roguelike really, is imperative. Okay, that's an elite there. So different elites have different abilities, as you just saw, this one can go invisible. There you go, we got him there. And elites, as you can see, drop different stuff. And this one, we got a Ruby Amulet. It's going to give us one more to Brutality, uh, but it's also going to give us minus 5% damage received. And Rolling's going to drop a bomb, much like the um, item on Enter the Gungeon. Got you. So we're now at 30 cells. We're sitting at a very good amount of cells for the next area. And as you can probably tell, as you progress through the areas... Oh, we got 30 kills as well without getting hit. Wait, no, 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 we didn't, did we? Wow, that's crazy. Okay, apparently we did. I didn't think we did, but apparently we did. That's what that means, so happy about that. I think we need to get to 60 for this stage, though. I don't think 30 is enough. I don't even know if we have enough enemies left to do that. Okay, good. We're at 37 now. Make our way down this way. Okay, this is a way that we can't enter yet. It's another thing that we need an upgrade for. That's a wall jump. And currently we cannot wall jump. But I like that sort of stuff. It's, it adds a, a bit of a more sense of progression. Okay, I'm going to go up and around this because I do not want to jump over that normally. Oh, that was close. Right, this, this freeze combo is really good. Okay, we got another, another Guardian Scroll here for yet more health and damage. The damage is really coming in handy. You gotta stack that up as quickly as possible. You really don't wanna leave the stage with any of those unfound. Hey, we got some health as well there, nice. I've got it on randomized health, by the way. Basically, our health can look like a bunch of different things. So we saw cheese for one there, and that time we found like a little health kit. And I believe this is the end of the stage, if I remember correctly. I can't remember what's over here, actually. Okay, yeah, this is the end of the stage. This is another area we need an upgrade to go through that door. But we made it to 30 at least. I don't think we're ever going to get to 60 this stage. We'll uh, push on through and make it to the ramparts with a nice amount of cells, I'll have to say. I don't know how we're doing for current time. I think it's 8 minutes for this stage. It is indeed. And it is 60, unfortunately. I thought so. We'll get better at that as we go along, though. So we'll uh, flip into this upgrade here. And then we can go with a bunch of different things here. But I think recycling's the best one to go for early. And then we'll go and unlock that blood sword as well. And we can just put the rest of our cells into the sandals. We actually do get the blood sword itself. Um, and not only that, this is colorless, which means it essentially applies to the best, to, to the whatever our highest color is, which is really nice. Um, bleeding causes poison. Let's, I know that the Nutcracker has been very good to us, but I, I like the idea of this. And it seems like the damage output might be a little... A little higher. Um, let's go with this now that we're on green. Doesn't mean we're going to get some more health back. And we'll fill up our uh, flask here. And I believe we're on to the last area before our first boss. We should be getting another meta upgrade within the ramparts here. Ramparts tend to be a little harder. There's some enemies here that can be a very problematic. But I, I really enjoy this area a lot. I'm really looking forward to when we get a little bit later into this series and can start... Um, we can start really seeing some of the uh, the crazy different alternate routes and stuff. Yep, that's great damage. The bleed plus the poison there is kind of insane. And we get 
unknown artifact. I believe this is custom mode. Custom mode is essentially a mode that lets you change a bunch of rule sets but still unlock things. Customization rune. There you go. Oh god, yeah, that's really strong. And it's obviously a lot faster as well than our last setup, so we're going to be a little safer. Okay, wow, it explodes them into, into poison sometimes as well when they die while being poisoned. Got to be careful around this area because there's a lot of... Uh, that was a good hit. There's a lot of little drops and stuff that you can accidentally make. We've got a lot of um, a lot of counters for enemies at the minute though, so that's good. Okay, cool. Some elites, as you can see there, have some interesting thingies, interesting abilities. We'll definitely go with this one because this is the same as our other one, but downward smash covers the ground, ground with oil. Yeah, we can basically leave some enemies to just die via uh, status effects, which is real nice. This guy's getting away from me. Wow, he got me. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. So shield guys are kind of buggers. Eventually, we'll, we'll uh, start equipping shields ourselves and learn how to use those for parrying. The game's pretty generous with its parry window, and they can be pretty strong. I mean, as I say it, one appears... Um, cause enemies to bleed when you parry. That's actually pretty good, but we're currently in a very, very good situation with our setup, so I don't want to mess that up. It seems there's something down one of these paths here. I don't want to take the risk, but I also kind of do. Nope. <laughs> it said there was something down there. I believed it. I was incorrect. Right, anyways... Let's keep going. We have one of these. Now, these are a bit dodgy because obviously you don't really want to split too much, but we can at least take it for the health bonus. Okay, I'm actually dodged just in time on that guy. Those enemies hit me way more than they should. I have to admit, it's going to take me a little while to, to re-sort of find myself with this game. As you can see, I'm getting hit way more than is reasonable right now. Like that, I should not have been hit there. And in, in fact, let's heal up. Shouldn't need to be healing on this earlier stage, really, but needs must, I guess. Right. God damn, getting the dodges timed right is. These enemies are destroying me right now. Ooh, this guy's kind of tricky as well. Ooh, damn, you got a jump for this dude. I didn't know that. It's actually a pretty simple jump, to be honest. He did give us some health as well back, so I appreciate it. If we get them stun locked, it's pretty easy, but it's, it's when there's like a lot of other enemies around, it's really hard to do that. By the way, I realized I massively underused the teleporters. That's something people are going to have to deal with when watching me, because I could... Sh my brain just can't handle using the those for some reason. I did it with my other series. I just would never use the teleporters, no matter what. I'd always walk my entire way back. It's really slow and it's stupid to do, but I don't know. It's, it's something that I always do. One of those fell off. Thank you for the cell. Good, good. Seems like we're nearing the end of the stage now. Okay, here's another one. We don't have the downward smash rune. That lets us smash through floors. Good. good. Okay. Seems like this would be it. This will be the last area, I think. Ooh, this is another secret area. 
I'm water running through my cell. Oh no, there's someone in there. Oh damn, I think uh, we just witnessed a guy dying. Okay, <laughs> well that was uh, hor horrific. Guess we keep moving on. Okay, this thing doesn't stun as well as a hammer did, so it's a little hard to use, but it's working reasonably well. Oh my god, I can't quite- I've got to jump to hit them and I keep forgetting. It's fine. Hey, another scroll. Okay, we've got ourselves up to a pretty decent amount of health now. Almost 2,000. We do have a shop here as well. This actually wasn't the end of the stage, I'm surprised. Um... Hmm... For 9 seconds, minus 2% damage received, grants you 50% and missing health as bonus health. Reduces damage taken by 20% for 9 seconds. Eh, not that good. We'll buy that though. Uh, this is a trap that we can place down to hold enemies in place. And it generates a toxic cloud around it. I think that could be reasonably useful. Right, so use the teleport this time. I'm going to try and remind myself. Got another scroll of power just next to us here. It's alright on the minimap. And we've got ourselves into a position where we can heal up reasonably well, up to 50%. Oh my god, they throw us like everything then. That was kind of nuts. The poison is uh, going hard. I'm liking the poison a lot. And of course, I don't have to kill everything. There's no requirement of that at all but it's just better to get money and get cells and things like that as well okay i just want to check didn't miss anything over here did i nope damn it every time is there anything here doesn't look like there's anything here I can't. I can't deal with those little birdies. Those little bat things. Okay, here it is. The Black Bridge. And this is our first boss area. We're at 17 minutes. I believe this area is like 15. Oh no, there's no timer for this one. Okay, but we do have 40 cells. That's very, very good. We could try and get the health flask leveled up. Probably the best idea, actually, to get that leveled up as soon as possible. Uh, we do actually get the sandals themselves, but they're unfortunately not very good unless you're in specific areas. Essentially, they deal huge knockback. Um, so now we can go with... Critical hits reduce your skill cooldown. Um, we're not getting that many crits. If you're close to a deployed skill, that's kind of interesting. Extra damage and reduced damage taken. I think that's a good idea. Let's go with Vengeance here. And this will heal us up, refill our flask, and this is on to the first boss. The first major boss. I don't know how well we'll do against him, we might end up dying, we are a little bit underpowered, but, um, should be okay. The concierge. So yeah, I don't really remember how to fight this guy, but we have a lot and a lot of poison and bleed, which should massively help us. Okay, we got him locked in place. The locking in place thing's gonna be real good. Okay, yeah, this attack with the red orb around him is very dangerous normally, and we're quite easily getting out of the way of it in a minute. Andy, might, Andy tried to jump, but it didn't work. Okay, one minute. I need to itch my nose because I'm trying to focus up here. No, he hit me. I could have got a flawless. I 
shouldn't have paused. I almost got him flawless. I think you do get some extra flawless in him as well. But we did pretty well against him. We locked the flint here. Uh, wolf's trap. Actually a worse wolf trap than what we've got right now. So let's just recycle that. Take that. Grab all that. We find, finally get another bl 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 blueprint here. Which uh, I believe this one is... I don't actually know what this one is. The challenger's rune. Okay, cool. We get the electric whip here, which is always a fun one. I think we'll stick with what we got right now. I'm pretty happy with it. We get a bunch of money, up to 10 grand, and we move to the next level. Okay, this is kind of where we're on to the hard stuff now. Now we'll fast past that first boss. We're on to the difficult stuff. Yeah, this boss was fl flawlessing him. So close. And this guy is interesting. He's the blacksmith. Save. Essentially, we can put into him to increase the chance of our gear being upgraded when we find it. Probably should have saved the cells for this guy, actually, and upgraded our flask one more. Please don't break the door. Whoopsie. So now we're actually at three mutations, which is the max. So we can either reset or we can just carry on with what we've got. I'm actually pretty happy with the current setup we have. So I'm going to carry on moving forward. So, and this area is another one where we have a few different choices of where to go. Of course, this one we require the wall climb ability. This one is the stilt village. And then... I don't know what this one is. This one is the fractured shrines. I don't know what the fractured shrines is. Let's go stilt village for now because I, I know that's the, that's the default path. So we'll go with that one first. See how far we can get through. Stilt Village is really where I start to take a beating, though. <laughs> it's really where um, where a lot of my deaths come from. What the fuck is that crab? I got hit by him immediately. I was not expecting crab. And I got hit by that as well. I need to be very careful here. There's a lot of very rough enemies about. Like these guys, for example, are uh, pretty tough. Heart of Ice, the blueprint. We got ourselves... Oh, I went into a door by accident. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to get the spaghetti. 50% health restored. Nice. So in this area in Stilt Village, there's all these little um, little weird shops. La croissant. Um, there's all these little weird shops that you can go to to get different um, upgrades. There's some that are shops. There's some that are just like... A, um, an elite, there's some that are legendary items, there's all sorts of stuff. I always forget these little types can teleport. Okay, we got them. Oh, he got me with the cannon. I thought I'd freeze him before he got me, but obviously not. Oh, damn. Taking some hits here. You can keep creating your babies, but I don't care. And there's a key as well. We can use that to get through a few extra areas. Wow, we took a lot of damage there. Let's heal up. In we go. And as you can tell, this area is no joke. Game's getting significantly harder. Right, we got the Sinew Slicer. That's going to apply bleeding. I think we can get rid of that for now. Okay, there's our key. I'm not exactly sure what we need these keys for. I don't remember. Go teleport us back out. Okay. Let's get you first. Oops, I missed you. That cannonball will kill us if it hits us. Oh my lord. There's so much going on. <laughs> I couldn't keep focus there. It's kind of crazy. 
Okay, nothing in there. I, I don't really rate shops this early in the game. They get a bit more important later on. But early in the game, they're kind of... They're kind of dookie. They're not very good. Ah, here's where we need our first key. Okay, I see. Oh my god. It's been, it, I can definitely tell it's been a long time since I played this game, because this is hard. <laughs> I forgot how tough this game was. Oh, that hit me. God damn it. Cannonball boy got me. But don't worry, we get quite a lot of healing when below 50% HP, don't we? It's these fucking dudes that are creating all the fellas that's getting me. Dude! What the fuck? I wasn't even in your field of view and he got me. Oh god, I remember this area. Luckily, we're healing up back to 50. God damn, the healing in this game is very necessary. Okay, then we've got a choice between these two. And unfortunately, again, they're not really what we're looking for. Although, Inventory Grenade could be decent. I think we'll take it over the... Um, I don't know, do we want to take it over the trap? Because the DPS isn't any higher, really. So, no, I don't think we do. So, we at least want to, um... We at least want to remove one of them and get the money out of it. That was a bit unfortunate. Slogged through that and didn't really get anything out of it. Get you. This dude. This dude fucks. I have a really hard time with these cannon boys. The cannon boys are tough. I mean, well, a healing at the minute is very, very nice, but still. Nice amount of gold there. Got a chest here. This could be good. It's a nice bomb. It could be a better one. It is indeed a better one. Much better. Um, doesn't inflict any more damage, but uh, upon thawing enemies, they suffer from bleeding, and the victim's remains explode. And um, I believe it's a bit, a bit short cooldown as well. Good stuff. We could actually go and sell that, but it won't be worth much. Oh god, oh god. That was almost a little tough. Ooh, fire band's pretty good, but again, not quite what we're looking for right now. And here's the key area. Right, let's wait for our skills to come off cooldown. Good. I feel like I'm playing a bit better now, getting the hang of things. What's all this? Ah, nice. Just some more money. I can get down with more money. And here's our first key. Well, the, the first key of this area. It's the second key overall. Right, to the next door. I imagine each area finishes with a door. Yep, there you go. And then this one, we're going up. Into the clock tower, okay. We made, I remember the clock tower. We've made it to the clock tower, that's good. One moment. Okay, we are back. Let's carry on. We're in this area. We definitely can get 60 heals in a row. We're probably going to be a little while before we end up getting those reliably. Heart of Ice. 
Attacking a frozen enemy stunned or rooted at close range reduces your skills cooldown by 1.7 seconds working with a melee and ranged. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll definitely get that next health flask. And is there anything we can get for 13 cells? There isn't. So I guess we put into um, random starter bow. Hello. Work for the blacksmith. I can patch up your gear for cheap. Not really supposed to be here. Let's just keep it between us, okay? Right, come on then. Okay, interesting. Okay, so this is the one where we can reforge our modifiers. So this one we do not want to reforge because um, this is uh, bleeding causes poison. I like that. This one, however, I could 100% reforge because I don't really care about that. Um, bite us crawl from the dead. There you go. Slow down after thaw two times longer. Thoric suffering suffers bleeding. Uh, I think we can go with this. Generates a toxic cloud. That's all I wanted. Um, and then let's reforge this as well. Victims freeze nearby enemies when they die. Pretty good. I'll, I'll stick with that. That's good enough. Get some nice little upgrades going on there. And now we actually have two uses of our potion, I believe. We do indeed. Yeah, you can actually see the sprite for the potion. It's a little bit wider. It's got a bit of a bulb at the bottom of it. So um, we can use it twice now. But with good reason. This area is really, really, really hard. I've died numerous times in this area of the map. Essentially, this area, you've got to travel to different parts of the stage. Um, you've got to travel to different parts of the stage and, um, and like, unlock things to get to the next area. Good, good. Yeah, we have to, like, find different parts and do a bit of, like, sort of exploratory unlocking. Well, I like the freezing into breaking. There's also these bells. You can do a little side quest with these bells, if you know what you're doing. Ooh, that thing hit me hard. Okay, be careful of those dudes. There's some weaker enemies around, as you can see, but the, the there's going to be majority harder enemies. There's a few in particular that hit me every time. Ooh, that arrow hit me. Okay, good. Damn, if we use both of our skills, I mean, it's a, it's a long cooldown to get them both back. But that's really good. Okay, new scroll. Okay, making our way up. More gold, good, good. As you can see, the gold is coming in hot and heavy right now. These are boss cell doors. We can only enter these if we have enough boss cells, and that's these harder difficulties I mentioned earlier. They cost that one costs two, as you can see. This one costs three. Hey, and there's an upgrade. Spikes make me scared though. Really shouldn't use all my skills on a single enemy. Okay. Keep her going. We're traveling up and up and up. That's all we want to be doing, really, in this area. Hey, a bunch of boss cells. They're just a taunt, really. Okay, so here's here's one of the keys we need. That's uh, the bell tower key, though. That one doesn't matter as much for the uh, actual progression of this run in particular. Oh, God. This guy's still following me. Stop. Right, we'll, uh, we'll heal up here. I realized that I could try and play it risky and um, not use my health potions. But you get them back at the end of every stage, so as long as you're not 
absolutely messing it up. You should be okay. Okay, we killed that guy with fall damage. That's another thing I've got to remember. Fall damage is incredibly strong in this game. Like, for enemies, that is. This is where the shops start getting really good. Balanced Blade is interesting. So let's actually have a little look-see here uh, at our weapon. 1,000. The DPS itself isn't actually that important. Um, But that is a lot less... Victims freeze, 70% damage on rooted enemies. That could potentially be good. I'm just thinking the bleed and poison's helping us out so much though. Like, a hell of a lot. Okay, so that's the top of this tower. Essentially, we need to top quite a few different towers to find different things. It's very much a maze and you don't really know where you're going. I think I pushed that guy into spikes. Yeah, I did. Nice. Ooh, that got me. That's okay. We don't have to worry about small hits, really. The big hits that scare us. I'm liking the, the, the crowd control that we've got going on. For this stage specifically, it's really helping out. So let's climb this tower now. As long as we can get that freeze off, those are the enemies I was talking about. Those dudes can be a pain in the ass. I did actually manage to dodge that one somehow, but I got hit by a grenade in the meantime. God damn it. Yeah. So this, this here is the key we need. Right, okay. So we found our fur, we found, well, we've actually found the area we're aiming to leave through. Good. Oh, that felt good. Right, up we go to the top of another tower. I do really like the design of this stage a lot. I think it's really cool. It can be a little tedious later on when you've played the game a lot. I remember that in the past, but overall it's still pretty heckin' cool. I need to be using the slam down whenever I can. Oh. God damn it. It's okay, we'll heal that up. Minor, minor wounds. There's a chest. That is another ice bomb. Ooh, okay. Um, yes, I think we'll take that. That is a bit better than what we've got right now, pretty much. Uh, we're going to get... Um, yeah, I think that's just overall better. And then we can suck that one up. Oh, that didn't come down with me. I thought it would. That, that I keep forgetting this dude drops grenades. My god. Dude. This enemy, the poison just won't kill him. <laughs> He's been poisoned for so long, sir. I really thought the poison was going to get him. Good. Much more of that. Probably don't want any of that. Oh, we got a door here. Let's go through that real quick. I don't think this contains keys. This is usually law stuff, but we'll check it anyways. What's up, you gonna? There you go. Stuff like that. Look. Damage from projectiles reduced um, by a lot. Poison to enemies that wound you. Yeah, we'll take that. I think, that's, I think that's better than what we got. Gotta be basically the next hit we take, we have to. Um, okay, there's the key. Do you know what? No, I'm gonna heal before I do this. Ooh, I didn't get hit. I was really expecting to take damage there. So now we've got the key that we need. We need to go back to here. I believe this is the key we need at least. There you go. And we can. Get the hell out of here. 
into the clock room, onto the next major boss, and bloody hell, this boss is not easy. <laughs> we got Predator there. Melee kills make you invisible. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Um, I still think we go for this. Get that upgraded. Right. Do we want to reforge anything? We could try and reforge both of these to get um to get better modifiers. Seventy five percent damage on rooted enemies. We don't really care about the damage this thing deals though. Eight percent damage to a poison target. That's pretty good. Plus fifteen percent damage is pretty good. Yeah, let's leave it at that. And then modifiers. Do we want to reforge? Vengeance is pretty good here. Recover HP after kill doesn't really matter. But if we reforge, we'll lose this. We will lose our save one time if we if we reforge. So we probably don't want to reforge. As much as necromancy isn't going to help us in this fight. Right. In we go. I do not remember how to fight this dude at all, by the way. This is probably where I'll die, just because I do not remember how to fight this guy whatsoever. He's a hard boss. The Timekeeper. Yep, got hit already. Okay, we're actually doing very, very, very good damage to him. Holy shit. I'm not very good at dodging him, I'll, I'll admit to that. Oh, we got him. Wow, okay. I just have a lot more damage than I thought I would, I think. He's out of here. There you go. We get ourselves a new blood sword at um, a higher tier. But the one that we've got does considerably more damage right now because it's um, it's green, not red. With it being colorless, it means it's doing a lot more for us. If you get that, shoot a volley of arrows. Yeah, let's try that out. Why not? And we can uh, scrap that. And bloody hell, we've managed it. I wasn't expecting to get this far on our first run, but I'm very glad that we have. Of course, runs in this game do tend to be a bit longer, as you're seeing. But we're, we're nearing the last boss. We can reforge. We can put some of these into here. There you go, 5%. That's, that's all I care about. Right. Grab this. And make our way. This is like the last stage. Ooh, this is the new area. That right there is the new area. We need to try and get ourselves that key. I can't remember how you get it now, but um, I'm sure we'll find out soon. But this is the stage that we're likely to die on. Essentially, if I remember correctly, in this stage we have to fight like three different mini bosses in order to... Um, we have to fight like three different mini bosses in order to get keys that let us into the final area. I can't remember if that's exactly right, but that's what I remember it being. So we're going to be looking around for these mini-bosses. I think you have to go through portals to get to them, like little doors. So many crystals. More money for me. Yeah, I, I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. A lot of the enemies in this stage aren't too bad either, especially if we thaw them out to freeze them. Sadly, we're getting a lot of these where it's a cross upgrade. We don't really care about them too much. Does give us health, though. Big enemies like that, I'm just going to insta-take out. Soldier's resistance. A lot of new things I've never seen before here. 
A lot of new things I've not seen before. Okay, no door here. I'm just leave you. Ah, here's our first door. Okay, so within this area, there'll be some harder enemies. But then... After that, there will be a mini-boss. It's coming back to me now, or at least somewhat. Yeah, I'm not getting anywhere near that fool. Oh, dude. Dude! You see how much damage this fucker just did to me? Stop right there, criminal scum. Wow, that was a, a hefty chunk of damage right there. Wasn't expecting it. Because here's the mini boss. Let's wait for our skills to... Uh, I can't remember. There's one of them that's really hard. And I cannot remember which one it is. It's this one. It's this one. You cannot hit it from the back. Otherwise, it just does insane damage to you. There's our first key. Let's heal up. I think it's that one. Okay, so I think from now on, we probably want to somewhat ignore the enemies in front of us and just try and get to the next teleporter. Because otherwise, we're just going to be taking a lot of unnecessary damage. Okay, so now we're back to the regular stage. Especially them, them big dudes. If you can avoid those big dudes. Oh, you little fucker. I don't know what that dude does, but he's gone now. I love the money in this game where it all like flies to you like that. What the fuck? Is this a new door? I think it is. It looked white, so I wasn't sure. Oh no, this is just like a thingy area. A secret area. See no evidence. Oh my. King sized. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. So, this time we'll go right from the door. Oh, nice. Bit of gems. I like it. Another big guy down here. What on earth is this? People fled from it hastily, judging by the mess left behind. I wonder who they were. Seems like there's nothing to gain out of here, though. This is our next door. Okay, so we are getting some familiar enemies from it earlier on. Calm your shit, boys. Dude, calm your shit. Wow. You guys are wrecking me up. Okay, if we can get this guy locked down, he isn't so bad. But without locking him down, I ain't touching that guy with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> So you guys are just free healing, essentially. Okay, here's the boss. Wait for our skills to come up. Is this the double one? Do not know what this guy does at all. Ow. I think we got him. 
Looks like we did. We'll do another heal here as well. Oh my god. Two of, I believe, three keys needed. Oh, I got my nose. One second. Oh god. If this area, I'm just beaming through. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> to get to the next. Right. Okay. So we're in the lower levels now. Oh, dude! Stop with that bullshit! I freeze them and they just turn around and they're like, soik. <laughs> Okay. This is the door. This is the double one. There's two two elites to fight here. That dropped off and got me, you kidding? That's the elite there, but we do not have the health for this. I need more HP. There isn't any HP to be gained though. Fuck me. Oh, this is gonna go poorly. Oh my god, how did I make it through that? Holy hell. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. I forgot there'd be other enemies. My... Goodness. Right. Just heal up to 50%. Hope for the best. Fucking hell. I'm stressed out my mind right now. Have we been in the blue door yet? I feel like we have been here, yeah. Right, so where are we going next, then? Gotta be, like, down this way, right? What in the fuck? Where on earth did you come from? Here's the shop. I'm getting a bit confused now. <laughs> um, Ice bomb there as well. Where the hell am I meant to be going? Right, let's look at our portals. Some healing, nice. I guess the only option is to the left there. Oh, fuck. Um, well, this went well. Well, that was... Just terrible. What the fuck was that? Dude! Game heckin' screwing me right now. What the hell was that? I need to wait for my skills to come back up. I need them to survive. 
Oh, we, we're here, we're here. Okay, so technically you don't need all three keys. The third one's just for an extra bit of loot. Don't know how to get that boomerang. I don't care. We made it to the throne room somehow. Holy hell. This is incredible. Random starter bow unlocked. Good. Go gold reserves next, I think. Um, 100% damage to, uh, to, just need something a little better than this, I think. Poisons the enemy, there you go, that's good enough. I can't bring myself to reforge this, bleeding causes poison is like, the best thing ever. I'm sticking with it. Okay, mutations. Reset my mutations, right. What do we want here? Uh, we definitely want Vengeance. Vengeance is really good. See, I don't know. Do we want Necromancy? I think we do because there is enemies in the next fight, I think. Oh, wait. Okay, we just can't. We can't change. Okay, I see. I see how it works. Anyways, through we go. Are we ready? I don't think so. This is the boss fight. I don't think we're prepared. We shall try to be. Hello. I do not remember any of this guy's attacks, really. Excuse me. God. What the fuck is going on? I literally can't keep focus on what the hell's happening right now. Stop doing that to me. How the fuck do you ever hear? I'm sure I learn, but at the minute this seems barely possible. What in the fuck? Why did you just deal that much damage to me? You're not even part of this fight. You're barely a bitch. Why am I on fire now? Well, here we go. I'm dead. Literally no idea how you're meant to beat that boss right now. That seems unfathomably difficult. <laughs> Holy hell. What are you meant to do? I, I, I get that I didn't understand a lot of, like I didn't predict the patterns, but even with predicting them, they seem incredibly hard to dodge. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. I know it's a little bit long for a first episode, but welcome back. We actually had a very successful run there. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope we get to see some of the new content soon. And yeah, I guess I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode.